Hello, my beardos and weirdos. Thank you for checking out another video. Uh, a few days ago, I asked you what... No, I said... <laughs> a few days ago, I said to you, top comment picks Saturday's video. Normally, I run a poll, but this time I decided to hear from you guys directly. So, let's take a look and let's see what everyone voted for. <laughs> Alright. Poll. Sort by. Top comments. Alright, so the top comment is... Read spicy fanfic about yourself. No. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think anyone submitted any, so, uh, no. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Alright, the next one is r slash Bo Burnham. Hmm. Alright, you've piqued my interest. Let's, <laughs> let's take a look at what that is. Good girl. Straw hat. Arms out in a cornfield. Me. It's a gosh darn scarecrow again. Again. Again? Again. <laughs> Why are you chasing so many scarecrows? Also, also, it, it's it's okay to say hi to new people. It's a, it's okay to say hi to new people. <laughs> Even if they're scarecrows. <laughs> Bo's 4th of July tweets 2010 to 2014. Independence Day, the one day out of the year where we all stop our daily routines and remember Will Smith movies. July 4th, the day we celebrate the signing of the Declaration of Independence by our forefathers. Hashtag gay rights. <laughs> Had a wet dream about Betsy Ross. Hashtag America. Ah, oh. Bo. <laughs> also, what happened in 2011 and 2012, Bo? Didn't think of any jokes, did ya? Hmm. I just found out about this subreddit, so I thought, why not post my fan art? I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry, there's nothing I could do about the lines. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Bo looks so troubled. <laughs> As he looks off into two different directions. <laughs> I love the drawing of Justin Bieber, though. That's pretty cool. This reminded me of the half-boy part of Lower Your Expectations. <laughs> Bro, don't skip leg day. <laughs> what is this subreddit? Feeling cute. Might delete later. I don't know. <sighs> no, you know what? No, I'm, I'm done with r slash Bo Burnham memes. <laughs> Alright, let's check out what else is on here. Uh, r slash even with context. I... You, no. <laughs> I've had a look at this subreddit. I don't trust it. I do not trust this subreddit. <laughs> Whatever the video is, it'll be something incredible because you upload it. Aww, Mikey. <laughs> Thank you. Sky Cook. R slash suspiciously specific. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, alright, let's do it. There are over 7 billion people in the world. What's one thing you think nobody is doing right now? Sitting bound and gagged in my basement. Yep. Absolutely no one doing that at this point in time. No, sir. Workers of Area 51. What is in there? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's probably pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Come on, what's in there? Look, we're just normal people like all the rest of you. I put on my pants one Zarflan at a time. Believe me, there is nothing special here. It's not like an alien race is slowly introducing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere to terraform your planet into a hotter climate so your ice caps will melt and decimate your population to give them a new home because Mars dried up due to our mass cultivation of its resources. It's just planes and stuff, trust me. Wife, watching the news. Some idiot tried to fight a squid at the aquarium. Me, covered in ink. Maybe the squid was being a dicha. <laughs> well, maybe it was. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Life is short. Write that novel. Paint that painting. Try that recipe. Hang out with friends. Form a militia. Create a compound. Acquire weapons. Rush Area 51. Regroup. 
Discuss a stateless society. Knit that sweater. Take that vacation. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know, when you're a fast walker and the guy ahead of you is fast too, but only like 90% as fast as you, so you must pass him, but to pass him you have to walk comically faster than your normal speed or else he'll be in his personal space too long as you pass, that's annoying. Way too relatable. <laughs> One of the problems they don't talk about with being a bit taller than the average folk is that shorter people be slow and the taller people be longer legged. And those longer-legged boys need to get in front of the shorter folk. <laughs> but gosh darn, does that not mean that we have to walk super de duper fast. Having seaweed rub against you when you're swimming in the ocean is like having Satan slowly caress your legs and toes while smiling creepily at you and whispering, Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I feel so uncomfortable. Jerry, just go home. Just, just go home. I'm done. Mayonnaise. First date. Thanks. Don't let her know you're a brontosaurus. Sees waiter. Cranes my neck 30 feet towards him. Yeah, could I just get a ton of f***ing ah! leaves? Worst things that can happen while skydiving. Number four. Parachute fails. Number three. Eagle pecks your eyeballs. Number two, you see your house from the sky and notice your parents making love in the garden. Number one, you're blown off course and land at a friend's wedding you said you couldn't attend because you're ill. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> All of those are bad. Aw, I guess those are the worst things. <laughs> when you're laying carpets for a client, but there's a huge bulge that won't straighten out, so you stomp on it, but then on your way out, you hear the kid complain about not being able to find their hamster. In the Toy Story movies, Andy's mom never remarries. This is a subtle nod to how Andy and his mom were better off without a stepdad. Just like how my mom and I are better off without Trevor. Stop dating my mom, Trevor, you stupid dicha. <laughs> the I went to Thailand and stroked a heavily sedated tiger and it was a life-changing experience. Bottoms. <laughs> this is way too accurate. <laughs> Some of y'all have never gotten that my period is late text and considered fleeing to a small Nicaraguan village where you sell mangoes for a living and everyone knows you as Tino. And it really shows. <laughs> yeah, that's... Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. I'd give up everything to be a small anthropomorphic woodland animal wearing Victorian clothes living in a little house in a meadow and my neighbor is a goose wearing a bonnet and my only worry is my apple pie be ready for when Mrs. Owl comes visit me for tea time. Dang. I don't know if I'd want to be living in Victorian times. Maybe not even as a woodland animal living in Victorian times. Did you know that, uh... Did you, did you know that... Did, did you know that... Did you know that... Toilet paper is a recent invention. D did you know that? Do you, do you want to live in Victorian times knowing that toilet paper was a recent invention? Hmm? <laughs> Ask me how AT&T at the Auburn Outlet Mall stole $685 from me. Dang, that is commitment. $685 plus maybe a dollar per letter is how much this person lost on that interaction. Brutal. <laughs> oh, my buddy sent me this picture. New dating app idea. Called 7.5.
Only for people who are like a strong 7, maybe an 8 on a good day, who look kinda athletic but would probably die if they had to run a mile. Have depression, but the kind that makes you funny. Cars check engine light is on. No one else is allowed. <laughs> oh my god. The five girls who will absolutely ruin your life. Number one, Julia. Number two, Julia. Number three, Julia. Number four, Julia. Number five, Julia. Julia, if you're reading this, bring my goldfish back. I miss him. I miss him. Imagine the trolley problem, except there is only one rail and no lever. Everyone is in danger and there's nothing you can do to save anyone. Also, the trolley is Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> My son was so cute today. He asked me, Dad, are clouds candy? Aww. I told him they were water. Then he asked, Dad, what's Earth's defense system? And then I remembered, I, I don't have a son. And he asked again, his eyes now obsidian black. What is the defense system, father? What is the defense system, father? Alright, my beardos and weirdos, that was... A silly, silly video, but that that's that's what I get when I ask you <laughs> which subreddit should I do? <laughs> and then you, you send me that, so awesome. <laughs> Thank you for your recommendations and keep them coming. I yeah, as much as I'm making jokes, I really enjoyed making this video and <laughs> I hope you're gonna enjoy it too. Alright, my beardos and weirdos, comment below and let me know what subreddit I should be doing next. Or what else you want to see me do on this channel. <laughs> As an example, today I went rock climbing. Should I make a video about that? <laughs> or should I make a video on the r slash one topic at a time subreddit where someone keeps putting faces on things? <laughs> Alright, thank you all for watching this video. And now I want to dive into thanking those who are making these videos possible. And those would be our patrons. There are a lot of names on the board now. And thank you to all of you. <laughs> you all rock. And now I want to shout out a few of the patrons. Avery Avesthetic, Ingrid Van Wise, Megan RB, Amosa Hyena, Lightfast, Rini Seal, Ruler of the Gaze, Philip Stoppel, Nancy Hunter, Juliana, I'll Show Myself Out, Avery, Mr. Big, Kristen, I'm Gay, Hunter Rosenshine, Percy, Ross Vegas, James Siegel, Nerd Counselor, Ren, Scoogs, Graham Rittenauer, Feline, Milku, Samuel Mendoza, Melissa Mabe, Don Princey, 99, Cac Theo, Jonesy, F. The Art, Lord Gorogok, Fred Gomez, Don Maples, Trey, Atkins and AJ Whitworth. Ah, thank you all so much. It's been awesome. All right, we'll see you in the next video where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. My beardos and weirdos, I recently recorded my first ever time playing Minecraft and. <laughs> I'm going to slowly edit it, and I might have it on the channel soon, so let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. And also, thank you to everyone who commented I'm in on the last video. That secret video is going to be coming up pretty soon here, and I'm going to need your help making sense of it. So if you are good at figuring out tough problems, if you are good at solving puzzles, keep an eye out for that video. I'm going to need your help with something. If you're still in, write I'm in in the comments on this video. All right, my beardos and weirdos. <laughs> Bye.